I'll show you. This is the black box module that I use absolutely the most. I mean, I actually use it even more than my standard sonar, to be clear. Why? Because it does two things for me that have become essential. The first is the mapping of the seabed. And the other is the live view, which means showing me exactly where the fish are holding. To the right or left of the boat, it is called the DFF 3D. Let's check it out here. Let me show you a composite split screen layout right here. This part here is just the traditional standard sonar view. These two screens are the DFF 3D. Right now it is set to manual mode, so let me quickly adjust the settings for our current location. We simply need to tap on the screen once, and we are going to expand. And you set the DFF 3D active on the main screen. This, this top part is the cross section, showing me exactly what is happening live. The signal is a bit noisy here because we are right next to another boat that is giving me interference. As you can observe, I cannot display everything perfectly. This down here is the triple beam sounder history. Yeah. Basically, the live view above generates this scrolling history below. This image are important. Here I can see the fish's position relative to the boat. The boat is located right here at the zero mark. For example, if I spot a target mark right here, it means it is 7 meters off to the starboard side at a depth of about 20-23 feet. I see the same thing here below. Naturally, here I see it in real time, and once the fish has gone by, I no longer see it. However, if it passes here, it leaves a marker on this triple sonar too. So now, I'm going to switch the leaf cross section to full screen so that we see it better. So on the Furuno unit, let me select the leaf cross section page, which is this specific one right here. There it is. These marks are fish and this mass here is a bait ball. And this is the bottom line. As I mentioned to you earlier, using this scale, I am able to identify the distance from the center line of the boat and the depth, using the depth scale displayed right here. This specific tool is an absolute game changer for squid fishing. Often, I mark the squid on my standard sonar, but the problem is that they are actually not eating directly right under the keel. They are shifted to the right or left side, and knowing this helps me out a ton to know exactly on which side of the boat to drop my jigs. The history view, which is the triple beam sounder mode we discussed earlier, is also very convenient, especially when fishing for tuna. With this fish finder, I am able to spot a tuna even 100, 150 feet away from the boat to starboard or port or even inside my chum slick in real time and determine the depth at which it is moving, allowing me to and see exactly what depth it is swimming at so I can adjust my baits to put them right in the strike zone. But the absolute killer feature of this DFF 3D is what I mentioned earlier, the PBG bottom mapping. So how do we activate it? It's very simple. We swipe from the right edge of the screen, activate the PBG recording. And basically, right now, my transducer is literally painting the chart, drawing the seabed in real time, all the parts, using different color shading based on the specific depth. And right here on the side, I have the full color scale to adjust the shading. Let me see if I can pull up some data I already recorded earlier, so I can show you the quality. Here is the mapping. Obviously, I need to adjust the colors of the area that we have mapped. So I'll go into the settings menu here and switch the depth shading mode to auto and it highlights it highlights the entire area I have already mapped with my DFF3D. 
just take a look at this rock formation right here. This right here is absolutely a magical fishing spot. Because even if I had found it with my fish finder, I could never have mapped the shape with this kind of accuracy. And remember, mapping with a standard single beam transducer is completely different from using this beast, which has 41 beams. First, because each individual beam is just three degrees wide, 120 total degrees issue of the, so I don't have that annoying shadow cone gap problem. But also with over 41 beams, I can scan a very large area. I cover about twice the depth I am at. This means that twice the water depth. This means if I am in 150 feet of water, I can map 150 feet to starboard and another 150 feet to port side in a single pass. And with just two simple passes, I am able to perfectly map out the position of every rock or reef. Look at this beautiful drop off here. You can perfectly see every single curve and detail. If I had had the classic mapping with one transducer, I would have had to make many passes to manage to draw it in this way. I can guarantee that this makes a significant difference when fishing. Now, let's go and check another specific area we scanned yesterday. Here too. Here we are. Look at the shape of this structure. Where do we find the big amber jacks? Definitely right here, here, and here are the predator's favorite spots. These are prime ambush spots. They hold in the current break waiting to strike the bait. Obviously, regarding this specific PBG overlay, I can easily choose to toggle it on or off. We just swipe up from the bottom of the chart screen. Let's select this. Overlay. Chart. Depth shading. Off. And the chart goes back to being standard.